Welcome back guys. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Feathers um, backend server. Now the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and open up the terminal window and go to the folder you'd like to make the project in. So I'm in a folder called backend right now and make sure you have the Feathers command line application um, installed using NPM. So once you have that, you're just going to do feathers, generate, and then it'll just go ahead and make a little prompt where you will kind of fill out the information for your project. So I'm going to call this menu monkey. Okay, and leave the description uh, empty. We're only going to use uh, rest services, no sockets. Um, you can just enable for all. And we're just going to keep it simple and use a NEDB. Um, and then we're going to use local and then what it's doing right now is it's going and just installing all the dependencies that we need for this project and going through and uh, setting everything up and then once that's done we actually have ourselves a um, a basic web server working um, if we just uh, do npm start that'll go ahead and start up our server so first, if we just exit out of this, this is kind of uh, Feather's command line prompt. You want to get out of that and go back to your normal one. If you do npm start, that will start up the server. And now if we go to localhost 3030, we should see the Feather's uh, a little web page show up. Cool. Awesome. We have the server up and running. That's great. But we would like to, you know, make API requests to this, get data, and uh, post data, and all that for our recipes. So how are we going to do that? So let's stop the server, and uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a service. And what services do is they allow you to make API endpoints. So for example, um, I can then go to slash recipes maybe and it'll show me all the recipes that I want so uh, that's what we're going to set up by creating a service so and we can do that by doing the same way we did before we're going to do feathers generate but this time we're going to say service and the prompt will come back up and it'll help us make our service so I'm going to call this recipe um, this is going to be using the database because we have the data to persist um, we're going to just use that database and for now we're not going to use authentication so that's going to create the uh, service for ourselves now now that that's there that's great now if we go to slash recipes it should give us a oop, we forgot to start the server start the server back up now if we go to recipes it should return us some JSON awesome so what this did is we set up an endpoint. Um, when we go to slash recipes, what it does is it goes and looks for the recipes endpoint and returns five recipes. Now how do we actually add recipes? Um, to show you how to do this, I'm going to use Postman um, uh, to do a post request. You can use this or you can use a uh, curl or anything to make a post request. So hop into my uh, Postman. I'm going to go ahead and set the URL to locos3030 and do slash recipes and I'm going to do a post request and I'm going to send it this JSON. So I'm posting a recipe right here to make pizza and the ingredients are bread, tomato sauce, and cheese. So this is just JSON. I'm going to post. So I'll go ahead and send and as we see this is the response from the server. Um, we can see it give us an ID for the object that was made. Awesome. Now if we go back and we refresh the page we can see our pizza ingredients are there so that's wonderful so now we can start posting to that endpoint um, for a website to create recipes and then we can go to this endpoint right here to get them and just a quick note you can also do a get request to here um, same endpoint and it will return you the JSON so you can do in Postman also in your web browser so that's great. So something to note though, um, right now this will take any JSON. So I can just add another one like uh, directions. Um, cook for 10 minutes. 
and this is going to be broccoli uh, sauce. So in our broccoli sauce, we're going to need broccoli and olive oil. So now we can post this, and this JSON has an extra has an extra element directions. But as you can see, it, it takes it just fine. And then if we uh, get it, we can see it just returns us another object um, right there with directions. So later we'll validate the JSON to make sure it actually fits the right uh, schema that we want. Now that's cool. The, the other thing that we want to be able to do is log users in, sign them up, and what's awesome about feathers is that they're actually already done for us uh, by default. If you go just you know explore the package or the folders a little bit, so if you go into source um, and then you go into services, you can see there is a here's the recipe service which we just made, and there's already a user service that's done for us and an authentication. So that lets us log in and um, authenticate users in the login. So that's pretty much it for the server for now. Um, it's pretty much all set and ready to go. The thing we're going to do next is set up the React uh, client and start calling this guy.